What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new news video. Today in this one is we got the official first look at the Makarov Operator outfit as well as some other MW3 Operator skins. I'm going to show you guys how you're going to be able to unlock them, what they look like, and so much more in today's video. Also, if you missed yesterday's video, make sure you check it out. We talked about a free Operator bundle that you can get as well as the new update details and all that good stuff. So if you missed that video, the link will be down in the description. Make sure you check it out. Also, if you find anything informative in this video at any point, consider hitting that subscribe button so you always stay up to date on the latest Call of Duty news and updates. But anyways, let's go ahead, let's jump into it. So with the Modern Warfare 3 trailer that we ended up recently getting, it has pretty much officially confirmed and revealed to us MW3. And because of that, pretty much all these different websites have gone live showcasing that MW3 is here. For example, Steam, you have a MW3 page. Call of Duty's page also has an MW3 page. PlayStation and Xbox pretty much have done the same thing. Now, as you know, every single time that they do something like this, there's always someone that ends up messing up and putting a photo that they are not supposed to put, or accidentally putting a photo of MW3 gameplay when they aren't supposed to do that because we haven't even seen the actual gameplay trailer yet. So that's what ended up happening. Xbox messed up and they ended up putting a photo on the dashboard showcasing MW3 rather than putting just the MW3 logo like the PlayStation Store did, like the Steam Store did. They all put the same exact artwork where you have Captain Price, you have the MW3 logo. That's all that has been officially revealed by Call of Duty, but Xbox messed up and accidentally put a photo that they shouldn't have. So someone ended up catching this and he ended up snapping a photo with his phone, but he took a photo of the monitor rather than getting a screenshot. So the quality came out a little fuzzy looking. Some other people also ended up reporting to see the same thing other people ended up posting these screenshots the quality still wasn't that good so I didn't want to make an entire video about one blurry screenshot so what I ended up doing is I ended up adding some Photoshop into it added some effects some filters threw in an AI enhancer this is the photo that I ended up coming up with but the thing is is obviously the characters might look a little bit different than the other version because it is AI enhanced but these are the four brand new operators that they ended up accidentally teasing. Obviously, as soon as this went up and everyone started tweeting about it, Xbox quickly changed it to the old MW3 logo, so it shouldn't be available now. But this is a legitimate, accurate screenshot that a lot of people ended up reporting seeing, so it's very legitimate. But here's the four brand new operators. First off, we have Captain Price, which is pretty obvious. You also have Ghost, which seems to be he's wearing a brand new sort of mask, so it does look like a different operator skin. Even the clothes are a little bit different. It looks a lot different than the standard ghost operator that we've been seeing throughout MW2, but at the same time, you can still tell that that's actually ghost. The second thing is on the right side, you have the red team, which is Makarov's team. You see his logo right here. You have him. He's the official operator Makarov that we are going to be receiving in this Call of Duty title. It looks exactly like the actor. It looks exactly like the trailer, which is why this proves that this is a legitimate photo. But the thing is, is when you look at him, he's sort of familiar, right? Because we ended up getting the Adam Operator Black Cell skin, and he was wearing pretty much almost the same thing, just a black and gold variant. And at the time when that came out, a lot of leakers were saying he moves like Makarov's. He he looks like Makarov and he could potentially be Makarov under the mask but there was really no way to prove it and his background story is redacted so there was really no background story to him so it seems like it might have actually been him because he's wearing almost the exact same suit so pretty much like a tuxedo or suit and then a bulletproof vest on top of it which looks exactly like Adam and then behind them you can see someone else some people were speculating that this could be Mace or Ghost or something like that I have no idea who this is if you know who this potentially could be comment it down below and let me know but I don't know who it could be and who potentially would fit the storyline to be this brand new character but the thing is is let's talk about how you're going to be able to unlock these operators so for the reason that they have been revealed in this photo like this tells you that they are most likely going to be a part of some sort of a bundle they're not going to be sold separately they're obviously not going to come in for free you know how Call of Duty is so it's probably going to be a part of the vault edition so Call of Duty has already confirmed to us on Twitter that we will be receiving a vault edition of M W3, which they ended up showing this photo saying this is the official artwork for the vault edition so this is like the logo of the entire thing now let's take a look at the mw2 vault edition so that way we can know exactly what we're going to be receiving here with mw3 so this is how the vault edition looked in mw2 and it costed you 99.99 usd so a hundred dollars the standard game by itself was 70 dollars so for an extra 30 dollars you got all these extra things so you would get the game itself which is pretty obvious so you're going to get mw3 the other thing is they have season one battle pass plus 50 tier skips i don't think they'll change that 
Pass. So MW3 will also get that and you'll have access to the Battle Pass, which I believe is a $10 value. And then uh, that's not including the tier skips. If you include the tier skips, that's probably like another $30 value. And then they have a Weapon Vault, which apparently is going to also be coming in. We don't exactly know which weapon and what it looks like, but it's going to be something similar to this one. And then you obviously have like the early access to the open beta and the campaign, which is available in the standard one. You don't need to buy the Vault Edition to get this. Another thing is they have a Red Team 141 Operator Pack. So I think what's going to replace this Red Team 141 is going to be these four brand new Operator skins that ended up getting leaked. Now, as you see, the Red Team also has four Operators. It has Ghost, Price, Soap, and Farah. This time it's going to be Ghost, Price, Makarov, and that Mysterious Person. So that's going to be a perfect replacement for that. There's obviously going to be other things being added. So for example, there's three other bundles. So you have the Final Judgment, you have the Ghost Legacy Pack, and then you have the Khalid Al Assad bundle. So these are pretty much going to be the replacements that we're going to be receiving for that. But this is everything that you will get from the Vault Edition for MW3. So it's going to be very similar to this. Almost everything is going to be identical. And we know what the majority of the things are. Now, as of the release date for the vault edition as well as the pre-ordering that is most likely going to go live as soon as the gameplay trailer is revealed so the event is going to be taking place on the 17th which is next week upon completing the gameplay trailer and watching that i believe the site is going to go live for you to be able to pre-order and to purchase and then you'll be able to have the option to pre-order in game and get the vault edition directly in game so they're just going to do that and that's going to be most likely next week where we're going to start seeing all the sales and the promotions and things like that so they're going to try to sell it to you while it's hot as soon as you see that gameplay trailer and they build up all the hype for it, it would be the best time marketing wise for them to start throwing in the bundles and for you to be able to pre-order just so you get it as like an impulsive buy after all the hype that you saw from that gameplay trailer what are your thoughts and opinions on these operators do you think that they are nice do you think that they are worth getting the vault edition over so do you think they're worth that extra 30 bucks rather than just paying 70 dollars for the game what are your thoughts and opinions on this? But I will cover more information as we end up getting it. You already know that there's going to be even more mistakes in the future. So they're probably going to start leaking a little bit more artwork on accident, whether it's Xbox or whether it's PlayStation or whether it's Steam or maybe someone who's an insider. You never know. Things always start popping up before they're supposed to. So as we get more and more photos, more images and more details, I'll be covering it here on the channel for you guys. So if you are not subscribed, make sure you hit that sub button so you don't miss out on any brand new videos or content in relation to MW3 and an MW2. But anyways, don't forget that event is going to be taking place next week. You will be able to replay the event if you want to. And if you are not available on that day, you'll still be able to watch the event up until the 24th. So it's just a game mode. You can jump into the game mode up to four players with your friends. And you can enjoy the experience at any point starting from 1030 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on the 17th all the way up until August 24th. So if you are working that day and you're not available on that day, you can still come back and watch it at any point. But anyways, that's all that I got for you guys in today's video. If you guys have have any questions feel free to comment below i do read all the comments but it's been your boy Chizzo. hopefully i'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again peace <laughs>